This video is going to show you how to get in and out of the nook to get the SSD drive and also the memory taken care of. Four screws on the bottom. They should open up fairly easily and gently. I find that sometimes, even though I've you know gotten them all up, that sometimes you still need to kind of finger loosen one of them that's still catching a little bit. So let's get these four up and see how it goes. There we go, and I just kind of grab. This one might still be grabbing, so I just untwist it a little bit. It's hard with one hand, but there we go. I think I almost got it. It's a lot easier with two hands. <laughs> there we go, so it's off. Um, this is memory. This is storage, the SSD drive. There's a little tiny screw by the SSD drive. So we can do that first if we want. And just a little jeweler's Phillips head screwdriver to undo it. Sometimes I lose, drop this screw, so I, once it's kind of loose, I just grab my finger down there a little bit and try to pull it off. And then that kind of causes this guy just to lift up. And then it's just grabbing it like this and pulling it straight back. And then it comes out. I just set it to the side. Goes without saying that the whole thing should be unplugged when you're doing this so there's no static electricity issue or no, uh, no power going to it. The memory, um, what happens on these is there's these little clips that are by the edges and uh, you'll pinch them apart and then the memory will kind of pop up. So I'm going to pinch it apart and then the memory lifts up and then it's just a straight pull out, set it to the side. There's the lower deck, same thing. It's this clip right here and then this clip right here. I'm going to pinch them apart just gently. It lifts it up, take it out. All right. So then to put it back together, just the opposite of that. I'm going to take one memory module and also notice, see there's that notch in it. It won't go in this way. It wouldn't line up. The notch wouldn't line up. So it only goes in one way. Usually the label will be in the front, but we're going to put it so that the metal on the bottom will go in this little section right here. And then once it's in, and I just give it a little tiny push to make sure it's in, a very gentle push down and then it clicks and holds it in place. Same thing with the upper deck. So just put it in so that the metal disappears and then pushing it down and you'll see that those clips on the side. All right, if you have to push too hard, something's wrong. It's just, uh, you know, maybe a couple pounds of pressure. Same thing on the SSD storage drive. There's that um, notch there, so it only goes in one way. So it goes in just like that, and then give it a little push. I kind of, sorry, I need my finger. There we go. I just had to grab the other side of it just to make sure that it would go in fine. And then it should line up perfectly with that screw hole right there. So I just pushed it over a little bit. I'm going to pause the video while I get that screw in. There we go. And then it's a matter of putting the bottom back on. As long as you took it apart and set it to the side and didn't, you know, confuse the orientation, you should be good to go. Notice it says front, and that aligns with the front of the unit where the, where the uh, power button can be on the front or the two USBs as opposed to the back that has all the different ports. So front pointing towards the front. And it's occasionally a little tricky just to make sure that you have it lined up. But as long as nothing's hanging over any one of the sides, should be good to go. I've occasionally had it where I start to screw in some of these screws and it feels like they're not going in smooth. In that case, just um, untighten and kind of start the process over again. But I'll usually do then this other corner over here. And I don't tighten it too much, just until I start to feel a little friction and then just a little tiny torque after that. Same thing here. Get the fourth one in just a second. Last one here and you are good to go.